Did you just notice a white spot in your baby's pupil when you were taking a photograph? I'm going to tell you all about this in this video, so keep watching. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rupa Wong, board certified pediatric ophthalmologist. And on this channel, we talk about kids' eyes, eye health, eye surgery, and a little bit about my life here in Hawaii. So if any of that interests you, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you can follow along. All right, this is something I know that is personally extremely scary. I'm a mom of three kids and I know you want absolutely the best for your kids. So if you stumbled upon this video, it's because you found a white reflex in your baby's eye. Maybe you posted a picture of it online and some people said, oh, you gotta get that checked out. That could be something serious. Let's not go down that Google rabbit hole. I'm going to address exactly what this can mean. So first, what is this white pupil? When you take a photograph of a child with a flash, or of an adult too, usually you get a red reflex back. The reason for that is because the retina in the back of the eye is red and the pupil, which is in the middle of the eye, is actually an absence of any tissue. So it's like a window and you're seeing kind of all the way to the back of the eye. So when you use a flash, you see the reflection of the retina coming back at you and it looks red. However, if you're here, then likely what you've seen is a white reflex coming out at you. That is also called leukocortis. It's any time there's some kind of direct interference with transmission of light from the front structures of the eye all the way to the back of the eye. So anything along that pathway can cause a white reflex. It's not always something all the way inside the eye. Now there are a lot of different things that can cause leukocoria, but first and foremost, you need to see a pediatric ophthalmologist. This video is here to provide a little extra education but there is no way to know what is going on with your child's eye without a full and comprehensive eye exam, which means putting the dilating drops in your child's eye to ensure that it isn't something extremely serious. So what is it that we're worried about? Well, the biggest thing on the list that causes leukocoria is something called retinoblastoma. It's actually an eye cancer that's quite common in children and it develops in the retina, which is the, the camera film of the eye. The cancer typically happens to kids between the ages of one and three years old, and it usually affects one eye. 60% of the time, it's unilateral. Now, this is one of those types of cancers that they have figured out what the gene is and what the chromosome is. It's on chromosome 13Q14, which is a tumor suppressor gene. When it's not there, that's what can cause these abnormal cells to proliferate in your baby's retina. Now, this is often autosomal dominant, meaning you can can inherit it from one parent, but only 6% of cases have a positive family history. So that means just because you don't have a history of eye cancers does not mean that your child doesn't have it. So that's why it's really important to get checked. Your pediatric ophthalmologist can definitely figure out if this is the case for your child. It's the most common primary intraocular tumor in kids. It's the most common eye cancer in kids and usually presents before the age of three, 90% are around 18 months. So that means, you know, about a year and a half. So if your child is diagnosed with retinoblastoma, then we usually do an exam under anesthesia, which means we take the baby to the operating room, we put the baby to sleep totally, and then do a really comprehensive examination when they're sleeping and oftentimes do an ultrasound test as well. We also like to get an MRI so we can really visualize the amount of tumor inside the eye. All right, so that's just one reason to have leukocoria, but there's a lot of other reasons. There's things like cataracts, which can affect babies. Yes, not just adults, but actual babies too. Retinal detachments or hemorrhage in the vitreous can cause a white reflex. There's all sorts of tumors which aren't cancer, which can pop up inside the eye, and that might be indicative of different kinds of syndromes. One is called an astrocytic hamartoma. It's usually associated with tuberous sclerosis. Infections or inflammation of the eye called uveitis can 
cause this as well. Scar tissue, like a toxoplasmosis scar in the retina, can give you kind of a yellowish white reflex. And then blood vessel abnormalities, things like Coats disease or something called fever, which is F-E-V-R, familial exudative vitreo retinopathy. Infections like the torches, that's when you go to medical school, you learn all about these things that can affect babies congenitally. So toxoplasmosis, rubella, herpes simplex, these are all conditions that can affect the eye and cause leukocoria. Some of them are life-threatening and some are vision-threatening. So again, the whole reason that you need to get checked. But I also want to reassure you, there are a lot of reasons to have a white reflex in your child's eye that's not problematic. Sometimes it's just an artifact of the photograph. Sometimes if the head is tilted a little bit, then you're getting a slight glimpse of one part of the retina versus the other and it can appear white. Sometimes there's something called myelinated nerve fiber, which you don't do anything about usually doesn't affect the vision and is fine. At times it might even be an indicator that there's an unequal glasses prescription between the two eyes or that there's eye crossing or eye wandering. Even extreme nearsightedness can cause a white reflex or just the normal optic nerve reflecting back. So it's not always eye cancer. It doesn't always mean that your child is going to have this long road of surgery and you know chemo and all different sorts of things, but you most definitely do need to get it checked out. So don't wait on that. Make sure if your pediatrician has told you that you need to see a pediatric ophthalmologist, please do so right away. I know a lot of us are really busy across the mainland, but we will always, always squeeze you in as a patient. If you guys have questions about leukocoria, please drop them below, a white pupil. If you had a white pupil in your child's eye and it turned out to be nothing, we'd love to hear that experience as well. So please share with the community that I think is most likely very concerned and worried. I hope this video was helpful for you and let me know what other eye health content I can create so that I can hopefully ease your mind or give you a little bit of educational background for particular conditions. Until next time, I'm Dr. Rupa. Bye for now.